Hey, told that y'all family, may the peace of y'all come upon you. We learn to obey him, brother and sister. Well, uh, we'll be looking at uh, to, uh, tonight, brother and sister. We're going to touch bases on um, some past um, events that took place. That is very important, brothers and sisters. Because all of y'all give us light. And he tell us to rise and shine And let our light shine before him And before all the nations That they may see our light And turn and honor Our Abba who is in heaven brothers and sisters Because I'm here At this time to help my brothers and sisters out To know the truth of Yah because all the deception, brothers and sisters, our ancestors was carried away into captivity, into slavery. And we've been taught that we are colored, black, African American. And Negro, further from the truth, brothers and sisters. I want to talk about Furcon and Furcon former teacher Elijah Muhammad, the servant of Allah. Because we must get to the truth, brothers and sisters. When this song is over, I'm going I'm to put it down for you. I'm going to bear record of the truth because time, the time of Yah, tell it all, brother and sister, what is false and what is true in the earth. And these are the facts, brother and sisters. Because we've been lied to. Uh, these are the facts, brother and sisters. So we're going to have to look at some words to verify some things. That is very important, brothers and sisters. Because we need all of y'all love. We got to know our custom, our ways. All of y'all set before us, brothers and sisters of our own nation. I'm going to talk about Malcolm X Because in X It means unknown Malcolm X came before Farrakhan Lord Farrakhan And was taught by Elijah Muhammad But he did not know his national nationality, brother. This is, that's a fact. He did not know it, brother. Sister. Regardless of the tape you heard today, he did not know. If you carefully listen to his messages and the one he talked about, the chosen people, he was just making reference to that scripture. That Everything that the scripture described the Hebrew people that they call Hebrew people was going through, our nation was going through because we are the Hebrew people, brothers and sisters. And these are the facts, brothers and sisters. Excuse my music in the background, but I had to play it through my talking because it's a message in that music. Because I'm here by the will of Yah, the show. My brothers and sisters, the light of the truth of Yah. Because one thing I'm going to talk about on Farrakhan. I'm going to talk about Malcolm Max briefly and Elijah Muhammad. Because Farrakhan is now be claiming and he got knowledge that we are what they call Hebrew Israelites. And he proclaimed me that. Brother and sisters. He know 
our nation is going under, it's in hardship and been under hardship for a long time. Even back in Malcolm X days, even in um, Elijah Muhammad days. He know these things. He speak about these things. But false religion gripped him too. And you're going to see this. That's where um, Malcolm X, when he went to Mecca, he found out what such a liar Elijah Muhammad was and came back blasting and proclaiming what he saw in Mecca. See, Islam, being a Muslim, Islam from the Arabs is falsehood too, religion too. A great idolatry worship. In, in Mecca, they got a rock, a black rock, stone, and, and a box like a ruby cube. They all go down and bow down and, and pray to. But see, we're gonna we're gonna address this real quick about their religion, even the name of their God, Allah, the one true God they call him. Right here, and, and, and now since Farrakhan, you know who you are. Malcolm X did not know this. He came before you. Your teacher did not know this. Who we are. Even before he was born, the movement in America is not new. To reclaim who we are, it's been underground, it's been suppressed, kept in a low key. But this movement to go reclaim who we are, our identity, been going on for now around 130 years. This is not a new movement, brothers and sisters. To reclaim our identity. Since we've been in captives, brothers and sisters. People knew, knew that way back then. Even our ancestors came with Kumbaya, the name of our creator, Yah. Yah is not a god. Or El, E L. El is a meaning of confusion. You gotta go back to Bath El when Ab Yah came down and brought the word to the earth and confounded the nation. And divided the language. You got to look into that past. And the Abiru language. You see, see, I'm talking about, we're talking about a custom, standard. We talk about the Torah, our legal system, our way of life. Abiru gave Moshe the Torah for our nation, brothers and sisters. See, all uh, this one name, Elijah, we're going to get into his name, what it means. First, we're going to look at Allah. First, you got to destroy their God first. Because that's who Farrakhan serves. See, you can have your identity. But we got a faith in our nation. All y'all gave us the way of life of his. By Abraham. And Abraham um, became his friend. And he made a promise with Abraham and his seed. And told Abraham to God the ways of Yah, the Torah, and all the words that he gave unto him. And told him to teach it to your seed, to God the ways of Yah. It's very important. The Torah. Abiyah didn't make multiple books. He didn't ever make no such thing of a Quran. You're going to see that. This came, a teacher came. In five, around five seventy, around that period of time, A.D. What they call it? By name Muhammad, Abdullah Muhammad, something to that effect. But nevertheless, we're gonna destroy their God right here. And Abiru, if you came, you're Hebrew, which is the modern term, but it's, it's Abiru, Yasha Yel, Yah, upright strength with Yah. In the Hebrew, they got a word right here found in, in Hebrew right here. Let me get it. For, on the number 427, Allah, 
Allah. It means oak or a specific a species of a large tree. A oak. See Allah right there. The best you can have it. It's an oak tree, brother and sister, in, in, in Auburn. So you got to know who you are. See, Malcolm X did not know these things. But when when, when Malcolm X went before Farrakhan came on the scene after Malcolm X, he was alive before Malcolm X died. And some people said uh, he helped cause the death of Malcolm X. I don't know about it. I ain't getting it all to that. But nevertheless, Malcolm X, he went to Mecca. He came and saw such a, a, such a falsehood of the teaching and the corrupt teaching of Islam. Even though that's a false religion too, but it, it, he even corrupted it in America for what they call black people. Malcolm X found out different. He did not know his identity. That's why he put X there. So if you don't know your identity, you don't you don't even know your standard. You don't even know your rule of law. Your your law system, that's what I'm telling you. That guides you and that leads you. That keep down to keep the peace from each other. The righteousness between each other. The justice. He did not know these things, brothers. So all he had was Islam. The same religion. That the people enslaved us by the Arabs and cut the penis off just like Christianity. Our people served the wood and the stone. The rock and Mecca and the cross of wood and Jesus. These are the facts. Even Farrakhan acknowledged a, a one named Jesus. He acknowledged the wood and stone. I be mean, I said we were gonna serve these things, brothers and sisters. But right here. We're gonna look at. We're gonna address uh, the one uh, Furcon still proclaimed as his leader. He he openly acknowledged uh, this one name um, Elijah. We're gonna look at the, uh, the word the corrupt name uh, Elijah, right here. You can look it up in any dictionary. Just about it said Elijah. Before I get into the Hebrew, even though they corrupt the part of the Hebrew, they put uh, 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 Elijah. But it's that false. But they got uh, literally Jehovah is God. But he said his God name is Allah. But his teacher name is Elijah. Jehovah. Right here, see? They got Elijah means Jehovah is God. How can you have a leader say it became a, um, a one named Allah, but his name is Elijah? But he is the messenger of Allah. But that's how they got, even though that's corrupt, but in, in Abiru, but they got Hebrew, in truth, it's, but it's spelled Y-L-I-Y-A-H, Ilya. Which means the strength of Yah. That's the real prophet. But right here, see they got right here? They got uh, Eli, Yah, right here. You see, can you see that, everyone? But they got Eli, Yah, U, which is Yah, U by seven, means Yah is He. See, Yah is the name of the Hebrew, the Abiru, creator. Yah. I don't want to get too long in that because I got a, a beautiful message I want to get into. My plea is going out to Farrakhan and tampering with the truth words of Yah and getting into the words of Yah. You must know who our real creator is. That's a fact. This go out to everyone, brothers and sisters. Not just Farrakhan. This message is for, it's for everyone and all those who follow Islam in America that is Abiru people. Now Farrakhan let you know because he just learned and accepted and acknowledging that he is a Hebrew Israelite, they call him. 
We are from, in America, from Yad. Our nation will be divided. Yad and Yasha Yel Yah. And, and, and the King James translation or any other translation, they say Judah and Israel. But it's Yad and Yasha Yel Yah. We got to go back to the correct name because in the, in the names, names, our ancestors' names, they bear the name of Yah. You can find it. That in the scripture, Daniel 9:19, and the people of Yah, and a lot of important people of Yah bear the name of the Creator, like the prophet, the messenger, the prophet, named Elia, the strip of Yah. He came in the strip of Yah, brothers and sisters. I'm not here to condemn Farrakhan. I'm here to help him. But sometimes you got to destroy somebody falsehood for them to see if they be humble, if he be humble and turn to Yah. I'll be I can use them and make them become a mighty man of Yah. But Allah is false. God worship is false. Idol worship is false. We gotta put out of the land. Much idol worship. That's what them Arabs do. The same ones help destroy our nation and cut off the penis and tuck the woman and use them for slave service and sex. These are the facts, brothers and sisters. That came before the transatlantic slave trade by the European people, brothers and sisters. That's when Michael X went over there and found out the real Islam and saw the real version of the Islam and all the people go down to Mecca. He said, this uh, Elijah Muhammad is foolish. You know what? Bull extra myth. And so is, if he's full of it, Everybody under Elijah Muhammad, the whole nation of Islam, is full of it. I'm not doing this to demean them, to hate them. I love them. They're my brothers and sisters. I love them with my heart. That's why I plead to them. Yes, you're going to be mad. Islam, people in Islam are going to be mad. But once you understand the truth, Malcolm X saw for himself. The false teaching of, of Elijah. Even his name don't even bear the record and testify that the one they serve name is Allah, but Jehovah is God. See, that's another false terminology of Christianity. But we as Abu people, since you know that, you got to know who you serve, who we serve. Remember the song Kumbaya. Many people learned this ever before they knew anything about uh, uh, fell into the traps. From roots of saying, call on Islam, surrender to the will of God. See, this false God, this idol. Think about it. they got the dome of the rock in Israel. Yes, they went up in there, Israel too, and conquered that um, portion of the land. Islam. That don't make them right. This is Christianity conquered a lot of lands. Got Christianity all over this earth. These are the facts. I don't want to prolong this because right here, I'm going to start off and show you the real messenger of Yah, the creator, Barah, of heaven and earth. See, when you tamper and start coming back to your knowledge, then you got to come back to the real way of Yah. Because, let me show you something real quick before I'm going to add this to my message in the prophet books. Right here, the real writings was called in Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Let me get there. Give me a moment. The real book was called, not no, Quran, no holy Quran. All the writings was inspired by our creator. Yeah, I'm going to show you that. Give me a moment. Right here. See, it says, search out the book of Yah. See, this is corrupt. This is a translation. But the original said, Yah. Is to search out the book of Yah and see all that he will do. And not one detail will be missed. You get that, brother, sister. See, right here, and his spirit will make it all come true. See, the spirit of Yah, everything he said he's going to do will make it all come true. He's going to suppress the liars. That's what he's doing now. See, history and time tell it all. It catch up with the liars. See, in time found out, Malcolm X found out 
Elijah was a liar. He just a man, but he was a liar, even though he's of our own nation. Malcolm X did not know who he was. Farrakhan just found out who he was, but this in America been going on over 130 years. See, Farrakhan had come up with some lie, and I like, and people started teaching like he's some great one on the scene. No, this message, and, and, Pete and our brothers been trying to get people aware. But told out y'all for the, uh, uh, the internet, it helps speed things up. To get it pushed out quicker. To make people, bring people in the way that's who we are. But all of y'all said a message is going to come. And then you got to know what we must teach. Our message, the message of y'all, of our creator, of the Abu people, the one they call Hebrew Israelites, is not going to teach no Islam or, or no Christianity. Because our nation have a structure. Everything. The law system is of Yah. The Torah. And the testimonies from the prophets. That show you everything. The plans of Yah. What we must do. And how, what we are going to carry out. I'm going to show you some of the things brothers and sisters. How we are going to get delivered. That's why Michael Max didn't do that, know this. Farrakhan don't know this. Like Farrakhan said in a speech. During a time. Not that long ago. When man Bray died, he's a sinner. But he don't have the solution to the answer. See, Islam don't give you the solution to the answer to, to get cleansed by Yah. Because one, we got to go back and obey the Torah. We got to renew the covenant of Yah. The covenant is not part of Islam or Christianity. The covenant was given unto Abraham, I mean, excuse me, the covenant was given unto Moshe for our nation, and he gave us the Torah. Even he spoke the first ten commandments found in chap chapter 20 of Exodus audibly. Then he wrote the rest on, 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 on stone for Moshe to teach it to our nation, brothers and sisters. It's the same system, the same setup we're going back to. Islam is a new religion. Brothers and sisters. It's not even 2,000 years old. This the new, uh, the new uh, idols that came up. So right here, bro, we're going we're gonna to look at this real quick. Let me get into it. Because I got some very important things to share with you right now. I'm going to start this off right now in Malachi chapter 1-7 to show you the real message of y'all. See, Elia, I mean the one named Elijah, the prophet would try to proclaim this. That's why I said the message of Allah. This is where they get the messenger from. But the, his work was totally different. His message was to come to, to teach a false uh, 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 corruption of Islam. Which Islam is false, but he went on and took it even greater. It made it even worse for our, our people. And blinded our people even more with the slave religion. Islam and Christianity enslave religion, religions, God worship. Anything dealing with a God worship got a God name to it, deity, divinity, divine, God, God's little g, big g, it's all idolatry. So right here, brothers and sisters, it said, listen, I will send a, my messenger. Before me, see, before y'all come to prepare the way. See, the way to what? And then the one you are looking for will come and sell it to his temple. See, right here, say, y'all gonna come before, after this messenger come and prepare the way. Showing that when he come, a temple gonna be built, the third temple. See, y'all know all the plans to that. All the plans is in the, in, the, in the prophets. The messenger of Barah, see the creator, promises to bring you great joy. Yes, he is surely coming, says Yah of hosts, see of the heaven, heavenly multitude. But who can live when he appears? See, all, talking about all the falsehood going to be crushed. Who can endure his coming? For he is like a blazing fire. 
refining. See, he like a blazing fire refining precious metal. The precious metal he talking about refining is the whole house. The children of Yasha yell Yah, but it gonna get even tighter than that. Those who are charged to do the work in the temple. See, because he got to get the uh, the key figures, the ones who are in charge to govern. The kingdom of Yah got to be in line first. That's the most important one. Then everybody else gonna fall because they got to teach them and make and kodesh everything back to Yah and make sure everybody be in order of Yah. So this message has got to be in tune with Yah and know our custom. So it's right here. He said, but when he come, who can live? I read that part. He said, for he is a blaze. He is like a blazing fire. Refining precious metal. And he can bleach the dirtiest garments. See, talking about the dirtiest garments refer to those who are filthiness and, 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 and gross and religion. Falsehood. Idolatry. That's what he's talking about. Sin. The breaking of y'all uh, laws right here. See, he said, like a refiner of silver, he will set closely watch as dross, see, the, the, uh, the filth, the wrong, is burnt away. He will purify the Levites, see. There's no Levites in, in uh, uh, Islam, religion. The Levites were the ones who were charged uh, of the covenant of Yah, to keep everybody in line with Yah. They were the messengers of Yah. Brothers and sisters. The messenger. Read here. He will purify the Levites. The ministers of Barah. See they are the ministers of Yah. See. The Levites are the ministers. The servants of Yah. I say messenger but. They are the servants of Yah. The prophets is the messengers of Yah. But a lot of prophets during that day. Was Levites. He said, the ministers of Barak refining them as gold or silver. So, see, the reason is so that they will do their work for the creator. See, Yah, with pure hearts. See, getting them back in line with the pure hearts. Then, once more, Yah will enjoy the offering. See that? Brought to him by the people of Yada. They got Judah, but it's Yad and Yah Shalom, see, the capital city, where we were ruled from again, as he did before, see, as he did before. See how that, how, see how the line, the, the part of the work of the Levite priests are to accept the offerings brought to him, to them, by the people of Yah, see that? See, they brought and give it to the priest, but on behalf of Yah. It's so as he did before. See, he said he, he go when they at this time once the Levite be clean and everybody return back and be and bring the offering again. I'll be I'm gonna receive it again. That's what he's saying. Dead. So at that time, my punishment will be quick and certain, and I will move swiftly against the wicked men. See, who trick the innocent. And against the adulterers, see, and liars, see, see, many people gonna be lying, but he gonna get them then. That's how important to, uh, for the messenger to do all of this work, and everybody follow line back in line with y'all. Then he gonna deal with all the evil ones, the liars, against all those who cheat their hired hand or oppress the widows and orphans or defraud the orphans. Defraud the strangers and do not fear me. I mean, saying, do not fear me. See, and he's saying, Those who do not fear Yah, he gonna deal with them, says Yah of hosts. For I am Yah and I do not change. You see that? That is why you are not already utterly destroyed. For my mercy endures forever. Though you have scorned my law, see, it's Torah. From earliest times. Keep that in mind brothers and sisters. Yet you may still return to me. 
says Yah of hosts. Come, and I will forgive you. See, see how he said, you can return here. He gave us the window, the opportunity to return to him. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in and, and, and deep. We're going deeper, brothers and sisters. We're going to Isaiah. Because he said, return to him. So he got the window, uh, opportunity to return to him. Now, as the messenger, uh, the, the words of Yah go out before you. He, he, he needs the door open for the return. And he gives us a list of things to do. He tells us to acknowledge our faults before him. He tells us to rally. He said, I'm, I'm seeing the branch of thy weed. And he's going to lift a flag that you may rally too. I'm giving you instructions in the orders in the line of Yah. How all of these things going to be salvation. The true salvation. For a con, and as many men march, talk to their salvation. See, that's falsehood. We have more killings by the police officers by, since that time. It's no, that's not the message of Yah. See, see if Elijah Muhammad falls, which he falls, the records bear re history bear record of that. The history bear record of Malcolm X did not know who he was. He was taught by a false man. He acknowledged that. The other people in the organization did not like that because they were blinded by Elijah Muhammad. Brothers and sisters, that's a fact. And so uh, I said I'm going to go to Isaiah, but I got to go to a very important. Uh, I'm going to go to um, first because we're going to keep this in line to show you uh, the prophet book Ezekiel. We're going to Ezekiel chapter um, 20, verse 30. Because I got to show you, I hope I can do this whole video in one piece. So you can see the whole alignment, how, we, how we're going to be delivered, and what course we must take. Because I'm showing you the, uh, the plans of Yah right here. So uh, I'm looking at Ezekiel chapter 20. Give me a moment, let me get there. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 30. I'm, I'm showing you what we got to do. So let's get into this right here. Ezekiel chapter, uh, chapter 20 and verse 30. I'm going to start off with. It said, Yah, Barah, the creator, wants to know whether you are going to pollute yourselves just as your fathers did. And keep on worshiping idols. You see that? What got our people in trouble? Farrakhan, you still got many people worshiping the idols of Mecca. That's the first, that's the farthest y'all can go in uh, Islam religion. They say, uh, once in your lifetime, you should make a, pil a pilgrimage to Mecca. I know that part. I read a part of that book. I had people in my family, and some still is, of Islam. So right here, it's a y'all want to know, I read that part, and keep on, he want to know if you're going to keep on worshiping idols, like your ancestors done. He said, well, when you offer gifts to them, and give your little sons to be burnt to ashes, as you do even today, he was bad record what they were doing then, and should I listen to you or help you, y'all should yell, y'all talk the whole nation. As I live, y'all barah say, I will not give you any message though you have come to me to ask when you have it's a what you have in mind and will not be done she said will not be done to be like the nation all around you serving God see the gods are wood and stone see the gods are the idols see that right there the ones you call God Allah it's a God of wood and stone. But that's the stone God. Christianity got the wood God and Jesus. Son of God. God is the son. Right here he says serving gods of wood and stone. He said I will rule you with a rod. He said I will rule you with iron fist. And a great anger. And with power. And with might. And fury. He said I will bring you out from the hand. Excuse me. He said I will bring you out. From the lands where you are scattered. See, this is the promise of Yah. And I will bring you into my desert. See, judgment hall. So I tell you, you can bring us out of the land. And I'll show you the way. And I will judge you. Death. 
and get rid of the rebels. See, the rebels, the ones that want to stick with this uh, wood and stone worship, the gods, he going to remove them. He said, just as I did in the wilderness as I brought you out of Egypt. He said, I will count you carefully and let only a small quota return, see, back home. He said, and the others, the rebels, and all those who sin. This is your judgment. Those who stand in state against me. I will purge from among you, see, from our nation. And they shall not enter Yahshua, 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 see that? But I will bring them out of the countries where they are in exile, see? And when that occurs, he said, when that day, when that occurs, you will know that I am Yah. Oh, Yasha, yell Yah. And Yah Barah, the creator, say, if you insist on worshiping your idols, see, see the biggest sin of our nation, go right ahead. But then don't bring your gifts to me as well. Such desecration of my Kodesh name must stop. For at Yashalom in my Kodesh mountain, says Yah, all Yasha Yah shall worship me. See? There I will accept you. You see that? Show him where he's going to accept us. I show you how the prophet going to come. I mean, excuse me, the message going to come. Clean the Levites. And I also going to be accepted back into the land by Yah. See? That bear records of death. And require you to bring me an offering. See that? And the finest of your flower gifts. And you will be to me as an offering of perfume incense when I bring you back from exile. And the nation will see the great change in your hearts. See that? Towards Yah. Then when I have brought you home to the land I promised your fathers, you will know that I am Yah. Then you will look back at all your sins and loaf yourselves because of the evil you have done. And when I have honored my name by blessing you despite your wickedness, then O oh, Yahshua Yah, Yah, you will know that I am Yah. So keep that in mind. You see that? So I'm going to cut that off right there and I'm going to go to real quick on uh, Isaiah. I'm trying to speed it up because I'm going to try to get all of this in there if I can't. I might can't so I, I might, I'm going to cut off on explaining some things. Go to Isaiah 35 real quick. I'm, I'm going to try to read through it so I can get it all in. Then another video I'll probably come back and explain it. Isaiah chapter 35, uh, verse 8 to 10. Let me get it right here. See right here it says, uh, And a main road. See, remember he said he's going to bring us back home. But now he's saying, look, a main road will go through once deserted land. And it will be named the Kodesh Highway. See, the name we're going to travel back home. And no evil hearted man. Remember we say going to separate the rebels. And after separate the rebels, we're going back home on a, a, a highway called the Kodesh Highway. No evil man may walk upon it. But Ra will walk there with you. You see that? Even the most stupid cannot miss the way. It say no lion will lurk along its course. Nor will there be any other dangers. See that? Only redeemed will travel there. See, only the redeemed, I'll be all going to allow this uh, travel on that road. These, the ransom of Yah, will go home along the road to Zion, singing the song of everlasting joy. For them, all sorrow and all sighing will be gone forever. Only joy and gladness will be there. So keep that in mind as I go to uh, Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 14 to 21. If my take cut off, go and read that. And that will bear record what I just read you. Read this. So give me a moment. Let me see. I got a little bit of time. I might get it all in. I'm going to try my best to get it all in for you. Because some reason why this phone only got a, um, a limited 45 minute uh, uh, limitation. So right here, I'm going to read in chapter 14, verse 14 of Zechariah. It's like what they call Zechariah right here. Give me a moment. It's not in this book, real quick. Okay, Zechariah 14, verse 21. Okay, it's not here. 14. 
Okay, it's right here. 14, excuse me, it's right here. Let me get into it. It said, all y'all will be fighting in Yashalom. See, this is when we get back home. The wealth of all the neighboring nations will be confiscated. Great quantities of gold and silver and fine clothing. The same plague will strike the horses, mules, and camels, donkeys, and all the other animals in the enemy camp. In the end, those who survive the plague will go up to Yashalom each year to worship the king, Yah of, Yah of hosts, to celebrate to celebrate a time of thanksgiving and any nation anywhere in all the world that refused to come to Yashalom to worship the king and the king of the king Yah of hosts will have no reign see that but if Egypt refused to come Barah will punish her with some other plague and so Egypt and other nations will all be punished if they refuse to come. And that day, the bells of the horses will have written on them, These are Kodesh property. And the trash cans in the temple of Yah will be as Kodesh, you see, set apart as the bowls out beside the altar. In fact, every container in Yah Shalom and in Yah shall be Kodesh to Yah of hosts, see that? And all who come to worship may use any of them free of charge to boil you their offering in. And there will be no more grasping traders. See that? In the temple of Yah of hosts. So this is a very important what I show you, brothers and sisters. I show you the road we're gonna get home. How right, we gonna go get home. So uh I'll be honest, he's gonna lead us on this pathway home after after brothers and sisters. And I'll show you a little bit what we're going to do, we have to do when we get home. So he said, but uh, the key is, when the father frees from this land, and we go back over to the east, and, we, and we're going to be traveling through the wilderness, and, and he's going he to remove the rebels, the judgment going to take place, he's going to remove the rebels. And then on the Kodesh Highway, no evil hide, uh, uh, brother or sister going to be allowed to travel that road. They're going to be all moved out the way. Only all the finest choices going to enter in. These are the facts that y'all would I show you, brothers and sisters. And, and I said this, and, 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 and I brought on um, Furcon name to this to show you, to show Furcon. You know, you proclaim um, your identity, but it get bigger than that. That's, this go out to everyone. Our identity is just one step of uh, uh, acknowledging knowing who you are because we've been lied to by many, especially by the Europeans in America. Called, they call it four different titles and many other different bywords. You all see the dates, two of them still on your on application, black or African American. Black, some applications say got black, some got African American on it. These are the facts. Everybody see these things. On my birth certificate, which they gave my mother, it got colored. This is what they done to the high out your identity, brother and sister. But identity is what identity don't get you in the kingdom. I just show you that. Obedience to Yah. You got to know our culture. You got to know our faith. And that's what my plea go out to Farrakhan and all those who follow him. What call themselves the nation of Islam. See, right there, he still don't even acknowledge his, his identity. He still go by the title of nation Islam when he when he know it's no such thing of a nation of Islam. We are the nation of Yada. And Yasha Yel Yah. See, he still is not humble to Yah. He's still not respecting his own identity, brothers and sisters. Even though he now he, he started proclaiming it, try to win some other people over to him. See, see, a lot of our brothers and sisters that are gonna be in the darkness will still fall for that. And they will praise him for acknowledging that. But he's not truly acknowledging it if he's still saying nation of Islam. He acknowledging the ones who enslaved our ancestors, brothers and sisters, and raped them, and cut the male penis off. Most of the males I heard went over there in slavery. They cut the penis off because they did not want these males to go over there and start having sex with their women. 
Because the nation know the less of our people. Our people was a very sinful, lustful people. And still is today. That's a fact with our people. That's why um um uh, Malcolm X brought up um uh, um Elijah Muhammad about all the young girls he married. And they didn't like that, brothers and sisters. He exposed that. How true that was, I don't know. I'm not in that organization. But that's what came out. And he told the arch enemy, the European people, in an interview, brothers and sisters. So they was heated. They called him, he, he was a betrayer. He was a betrayer of that organization he was in. I'm not part of that organization. But Farrakhan, you betrayed your nation. Of Yada. Since you know who you are. And you became the enemy. Islam. When you going to give Islam.